Okay, for some reason my camera cut off. But basically, the nodes are gonna be in Cancer and Capricorn in, for the next 18 months. And so that puts us through uh, 2019 and into 2020, which is when a lot of major um, galactic alignments occur and astrologically it's just a very um if you look back historically to like the last time that this alignment happened i believe it was the revolutionary war um because it's also yes it has to do with where pluto was i think one pluto cycle is like let me think <laughs> Pluto square Pluto is like 40. I think it's like 120 years maybe. I need to look that up. Anyway, point being, it could be a very um, interesting time in the coming years. All positive, of course, but like a resetting. So Mother Earth is naturally going to reset the balance. And things have gotten way, way out of balance. Um, in this world, in this country, in our own hearts, in our homes, um, in the systems that we participate in somewhat willingly, but you know, a lot of people are just so um, asleep to the fact that there's a different way to live and they, they've been taught it since they were little and it's generational. And you know, I say all that to say that it could be very, um, shocking or difficult for people when some of these systems start to collapse which they will you know the the writing is on the wall <laughs> if you have eyes to see you know and ears to hear this is not a sustainable world and either mother earth will just take care of that or if enough of us raise our awareness and stop participating in these systems they will collapse and um, you know the rebuilding will begin and it may not be easy but it's going to be um, rebuilding it with a higher level of consciousness and therefore um, having the opportunity to not repeat the mistakes of the past you know there's been uh, mass destruction before um, in our species um, as a reset and you know the time is upon us where it's that time where we have to make a choice <clears throat> personally first of course and then um, if you have that hundred month monkey hundredth monkey effect then that critical mass is reached and um, I actually think that's already occurred I, I don't think the destruction is gonna be what it could have been I think that we are constantly changing the timeline the more and more of us that raise our awareness and you know, yes, they'll be rebuilding. Yes, there'll be um, the collapsing of systems, but I think the actual loss of human life, loss of animal life, destruction um, could have played out a lot differently if as many of us who came here on a mission to, to help Mother Earth because she was being um, just raped is the best word you know raped not regarded not considered in decisions made by um, a select few like just a few and her people weren't being considered her children and you know she can take a lot and she does take a lot every day but there also comes a point where natural law says that equilibrium has to be reached it's just science you know, which is why I love that science and spirituality are coming together now because that is what's needed. These bridges, you know, I'm really, really, really understanding that now. I've been saying that for a while or, you know, understanding part of it, but like the bridge that needs to happen is between these things that appear to be separate or against one another um, that cause then people to feel separate or to feel hate or to feel jealousy or to feel fear of lack or whatever and it's what creates all of this war and 
um, sick, distorted ways of operating and relating and loving and, you know, raising children and teaching children and being, um, you know, creators in this world, being, you know, feeling the freedom to be able to create from our heart um, things that bring us pleasure and joy and um, that bring beauty and that then that spills over to anybody that encounters it and that's just not valued yet in our society the way that I believe it can be. So I went way around but I'm going to get back to this alignment. So the nodes will be moving into Cancer Capricorn, Uranus into Aries, Venus into Libra. These are the cardinal signs. So we're going to have the um, that cardinal initiating energy to do one final sweep <laughs> in our life and not one final there's always it always comes back around but we're getting a lot of cosmic help right now we're getting a lot of you know support from our higher selves from our future selves from our you know galactic allies from beings that have passed that have loved us they're coming back right now to support us and guide us and protect us and help us and you know there is a battle going on and you know the light has a lot of help from higher realms and that help is available to each and every one of us i really 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 believe that so the help right now as i understand it intuitively is that we're going to get that cardinal burst of initiating energy to really Uranus think outside the box you know um, think about I think somebody might have been um, Jim and I Brett or Maurice talked about Uranus and Taurus being like earth technologies like figuring out the actual structures and things we need to create power and to have permaculture and to like do things like that. So we'll have, you know, more Uranus and Taurus once he moves back. Um, but I feel like right now it's like a, it's like a fact finding mission or something that both of them are on. Um, so that when they go into these cardinal signs, they know what actions need to be taken right now to make the next couple of years um, a time of beautiful community, collaboration, um, banding our hearts and our minds together within and together in group and community so that we can come up with these solutions that we need, these new education systems, these new healthcare systems, these new um, ways of doing relationship, these new ways of expressing ourselves in the world and honoring each other's gifts and encouraging that, encouraging individuality over, you know, <clears throat> robotic conformist behavior that so many of us were programmed to do things in a certain order or you have to do this to be successful or this is what it says about you if you don't do this and all that's going out the window so authenticity is going to be the new currency and I want to say it was OJC astrology she's amazing check her out Olivia that said that or something to that effect like your authenticity is your currency on this new earth so I think that's all I want to say. I feel like there might have been something else about the alignment, but it feels complete. Sending you guys lots of love. Bye.